Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So after posting late last month regarding the unsupported processor blue screen of death errors that a lot of users were getting with MSI motherboards, um, Microsoft, as I mentioned in that video, which I'll leave a link to in the description, had said they were not responsible and had put the ball into MSI's court. Now, a quick recap. Um, the updates that rolled out near the end of last month for Windows 11 22H2 were KB5029351. For Windows 11 21H2, that would have been KB5029332. And for Windows 10 22H2, the update would have been KB5029331. Now, just to let you know that to resolve the problem, MSR now um, has rolled out a fix and has re released a new set of BIOS updates uh, for its 6 and 700 series motherboards. And um, this is in a recent um, product news update dated the 6th of, of September. So this fix rolled out um, just a little bit earlier today on the 6th of September 2023. Now MSI is this to say if you were affected. Um, they say that they and Intel have been working hard over the last couple of weeks to come up with a solution together and have found the root cause of the blue screen of death issue which is regarding the firmware setting of Intel hybrid architecture. They carry on to say it is determined that the blue screen of death will, uh, will only affect Intel's 13th gen Core R9 paired with following versions of the Windows operating system OS. And as mentioned, that would be um, those updates pertaining to the different versions of Windows. So that was Windows 11 version uh, 22H2 with the update 5029351, 21H2 and Windows 10 22H2 with the relevant updates as mentioned earlier. Uh, they carry on to say the new BIOS will include an update on the Intel CPU U-code which will prevent any more messages regarding the unsupported processor issues. This upcoming update will correspond to both 13th generation and newer ones. There will be more BIOS available to download on MSI's official website for all Intel 700 and 600 series models this week and all BIOS releases will be available by the end of this month. So if you haven't seen a BIOS update as yet on their website, then by the end of this month, they say that you should see um, all the different releases of the different BIOS updates. Now, if we just head back to that announcement and we just scroll down to where you can actually download the updates, it says here, yeah, this list below will redirect you to the corresponding model support site to download. And this video link, if you click on that link, in case you're unaware, will help you on how to flash BIOS on MSI motherboards. And then here's the, um, the current list of the motherboards that are affected. And if you find yourself having one of those motherboards, then you can always click on the link and download the relevant BIOS version. And if you don't know how to flash your BIOS, as mentioned, you just click on that link and that will take you to a video link where MSI will explain on how to do that. Now, just on a side note, if you don't know what type of motherboard you are running, it's actually very simple to find out on Windows uh, 10 and Windows 11. And to do this, we just head over to our search and we just enter system information. And this will bring up your system information legacy menu. And yeah, you can see everything pertaining to your OS and your system and your hardware. And if you want to find uh, what motherboard you are running, um, you just look for baseboard manufacturer. Baseboard manufacturer, as you can see, mine is an HP, as I'm running an HP laptop. So if your motherboard is saying MSR, then obviously you can just head back to this uh, website, check if you have a relevant corresponding motherboard, and then obviously you can download the relevant BIOS version and flash your BIOS. And as mentioned, if you are not seeing um, your BIOS a version upgrade pertaining to your relevant MSI motherboard. As mentioned, um, MSI say that those will be released and will be available by the end of September. So I'm um, just letting you know that according to MSI now, it was their issue, not Microsoft's, and they have now fixed it with that latest updated versions now of those different viruses pertaining to the MSI motherboards. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.